just hope you are doing good and enjoying life uh, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel channel called alien tech champion if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel and if you want to share with your friends of course you can share with your friends uh, which is actually great help for me <clears throat> okay so i'm sure if you are new to this channel so this channel is just all about creating uh, sharing the knowledge about the how you can manage the microsoft intune or any mdm solutions uh, so in this channel you will get the latest update on how you can manage the Intune efficiently if you are the Microsoft Intune administrator. So in this video <coughs> today I am going to talk about that what is actually rule based access control which Intune has provided Microsoft is providing us right to. So Intune uh, Microsoft has providing very robust rule based access control which actually help us to manage uh, to manage uh, who has access to your Intune tenants and, and their access right, right? So each Intune role has a set of permissions that determine what users with that role can access and change within your tenant, right? And how, where you can find that actually. So you have to go to the tenant administrations and go to the roles, right? So this is a role based access control. And inside that, uh, in my previous video, I have shown you how you can create the custom rules and assign the permissions, right? And assign the scopes. There is another important thing, which is scope tag, which is actually defined. You can use the rule based access control to set the needed access rights for the users. But this is all object in your tenant with this scope tag, right? With this scope tag you can scope the admin to have the right access and visibility to the right Intune objects, right? So this role-based uh, role access roles determine what access admin have to which objects. So this tag will determine which object admin can see or manage, right? So this is actually uh, the most important, uh, I mean, and don't confuse between group tags and scope tags. Group tag I have shown in my previous video uh, how you can create the uh, how you can create the groups, right? Uh, if if I I will show you in uh, I will I will put this uh, how you can create the uh, group tags, right? So don't confuse between group tag and scope tag, right? The scope tag is actually you'll probably notice when you when you when you try to configure any policy that that in any of the menu options here right either it's app protection policy or any configuration policy or compliance policy you will see the scope tag is there right scope tag is actually excellent way to delegate control of policies and and the far to allah right uh, so this is actually uh, you you need to go to the tenant administrations and you can find the rail uh, by default actually generally you will see all those policies will apply to the de default scopes which is actually it's there right you see you, and in in the fact you can't delete this this scope tag this scope tag actually in tune scope tag is provide administrative users with with a filter view of objects right this scope tag actually will filter the options provided in the intune just for the easy for the admins and you can add scope tag to all the intune objects like applications policies profiles right so this is actually uh, it's actually uh, it's very uh, um, uh, fine grain control of to administrator in the Intune tenant, you can define the custom roles and scope tag. And this is actually it's most useful for the smaller environment or any larger environment that might uh, take care of larger decentralized tenant, right? Where there are actually so much features and they right. So these 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 roles and scopes are very helpful to assign the right permissions to the first level or second level of the support team, right? So today uh, I will create this uh, few scopes today and we'll see how, how it works right. 
so let's create uh, one scoop tag let me you can see the scoop tag define define the intune resources that align to specific roles like if you want to get a nam office bangalore office india office or whatever i am creating for reason wise so let me create north america region okay north america region okay scope north america region uses or devices right you can put uh, any anything whatever you like okay or oh, something has happened sorry for that i think it's okay so it's north america region uses north america region that that is enough okay and you can assign to a groups right so if you have a groups i have shown in my video how you can create a groups it's very easy just go to the groups and create the groups or you if you have the custom groups your on premise ad is uh, integrated with the azure ad it will show you here right so i am just selecting anything uh, here just for sec but you can select the groups so any north america regions it will show here and you see under the tenant administrations roles uh, roles scope so i have created one north america regions right and if any user is a part of north america regions i mean this this group uh, and this scope will be applied right you can edit this better to help the emia users emia region or just put emia scope so this and if you assign this scope so if any user is a part of uh, uh, from the emia regions you can uh, assign similar like you can uh, create of any other scopes like india or america brazil china anything you can define multiple one. and when you go to the profiles and then and then click on any of these uh, and android profiles create uh, configurations profiles create new profiles or i will show you the existing profiles how you can change it right i have the existing profile just create that and you see the scope here scope tag is default you can just edit it and if you want to apply this ios native profile to only emia regions users which will i have just created you you can remove default select the emia and in the scope tag we have selected the users right i'm the ad groups so if that user is a part of that groups this email profile will apply to email regions users right and if you if you uh, if you if you uh, if you also go to the roles right under and tenant administrations roles and i have created the st roles and if you go to the assignments global st roles here you have scopes right scope tag you can select and if you assign these roles to only emia admins remove default select emia so all these emia whatever where you have selected the emia scope tag in the profiles or apps or anywhere only those admins can view those objects right so this is actually it's most uh, i mean uh, helpful for role based access control so you must create you can some define some scope so that the any admins they can access the resources and if you tag this scope to applications or profile which i have just shown you those only only admin members can view the objects in 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 the intune console 
so i'm sure uh, uh, you you have you got some information about how you can create these scopes and assign to the roles or the profiles right it's very easy uh, you can just explore this and create more scopes and and apply the rule basics control with Intune. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.